Hi, it's DM. Today I have some project shares for you and the first are these computer monitor shakers. So these were made using a die from the KLJUIP store and I normally don't buy these types of dies that I think are going to go out of style but um, I saw Nicole Silhouette crafting with it and it looks so cute so I was like why not? And the Apple computer monitor is an iconic symbol. So for these I made them in a vintage strawberry shortcake theme. And um, I didn't like embellish them too much. I wanted to keep them simple. And then um, each of them have different scenes. So for example, this one here has got like Strawberry Shortcake and her friends, and they're trying on their party outfits. And then in this one, um, it's Strawberry Shortcake sitting with her pet Custard, the cat, and they're looking over a rainbow. And at the end of the rainbow, there's like a pot of strawberries, which I think is so cute. And um, so I kept the shaker bits really simple because like I didn't put too much in there so um, like they wouldn't cover up the images inside. So that's what that one looks like. And then let me just show you the die quickly here. So this is what it looks like. You get the piece for the um, computer monitor. This is a layering piece for the screen, the bottom of the screen, the apple, as well as two buttons. And then for the apple, I cut it out in a foil uh, gold foil cardstock and I layered it a couple times and I think it's so cute. So that's how my first project turned out. Next I wanted to take out the um, Chaos Craft coffee cup dies and um, so let me show you what the die set looks like. It looks like this. So it looks like a really overwhelming set because there's just so many pieces but um, with this set it allows you to create three different coffee cup sizes and then um, you could also turn them into shakers because it comes with like these pieces here. Um, there are some sleeves with like corrugated um, details and then you get lids. And then if you wanted to, you could buy this add-on set over here that includes like the spoon, straws, domed uh, lids, as well as the steam for your hot drinks. And let me show you how my uh, projects turned out. So I decided to go with a strawberry shortcake theme. So this is a strawberry shortcake. Um, this is blueberry muffin, like a blueberry muffin theme, which is her friend. And then uh, this is orange blossom. And um, these were made using clip art that I purchased from an Etsy shop. It's called Hen Mech, and I'm gonna put a link to it in the description box below. Um, so they offer two strawberry shortcake uh, sets, which I think is awesome because it's new and I had to, like once I saw it, I had to get it right away. So for these, um, I use my Silhouette machine to um, like import the, like a scan of the cup so I can, you know, get an idea of the size. And then uh, for each of them, I just put the character and then I added the little like fruits like onto the coffee cup back there. And then um, I also cut out the pets and put them on the top as toppings. And then on the toppings part there, I also added little uh, shaker bits or clay slices. And, um, you know, just to give it some more interest. And then some of them have like some details here that you see, like the ripples in the uh, drink there. And those were actually the negative um, pieces from um, my last project, which was the um, little ice cream uh, cups that I got from the surprise creation store. So I used those uh, negative uh, spaces to, um, you know, give that more interest. And then for each of them, like I added a paper straw there instead of using like the dies. And then I just um, embellished each one. So this one's got a Queen and Company bow. And then um, in the center of the bow is a button, which I cut off the back of. And um, the same thing over here, it's a button and I just cut off the back and added it to an embellishment. And then for this one here, I use this little um, hanging element that I got from a uh, the KS Craft Witch Boot set so that I could hang a charm there. And then I just have this little strawberry charm. And then for each of them, like I didn't wanna to put too many shaker bits again because I didn't wanna cover up the um, images, but yeah, they're so cute. And I was able to use my new like shaker bits that I got. So this one's got like the little um, ice cream with the, well, the little popsicles with the little hearts on them. And the images are so cute. So there was like a lot of other characters, which I'm gonna save for other projects. 
And then, so here's Strawberry Shortcake. And then at the back there, you're gonna see, like there, she's got her green and white uh, stockings. Well, they all have it. But yeah, I think these turned out so cute. And I was able to use my new um, like shaker bits that I recently hauled. And then next I made this really uh, simple one. And then uh, for this one, it's more about that, like I wanted to, well, this was like the last piece of this paper that I got from a DCWV paper pad. It's called Watercolor. And then um, I added the spoon there, which I cut out in a gold foil uh, paper. And then uh, for this word, this coffee word here, I cut it out in a gold glitter cardstock. And I cut it out a number of times so that I could layer it and it would be uh, like really sturdy. And then I just added that um, paper flower from the dollar store that I glittered up. And um, I added this uh, flamingo charm. And then, um, yeah, for the shaker bits, I kept them mainly like the clear iridescent kind um, because I wanted to like not cover up the papers in there. But I love how that turned out. And then um, next, I decided to go with a Hello Kitty theme. And um, this was totally inspired by Denise because Denise is the one that um, actually enabled me to get these because um, like these dies because she made really cute um, Hello Kitty themed um, coffee cup embellishments that she gifted to me. And um, so for this one, the paper that you see there is a digital download of wallpaper that you can get off of the Sanrio site, which I'm going to put a link to in the description box below. And then I added a gold spoon there. And then for the shaker bits, um, you're gonna see some like of these little ones, like the circular ones with the images. And those were actually gifted to me by Denise um, and they're made of shrinky dink, which I think is so brilliant. So um, let me see if I can show you here, like some of the other ones in here. Sorry for all the glare. Like I had the camera positioned this way so that um, it reduces glare, but I'm just gonna um, set it down here. And then um, I added this little um, heart charm that I got off of Ali. Well, all the charms you see today are from AliExpress. And then uh, for this one, I really wanted it to have like a shaped uh, lid. So for the lid there, I made it into, like I cut out the acetate in the shape of her um, head hope you can see that and added that bow so I just um, made that using like I cut that out using my uh, silhouette machine and then I added some sprinkles there so um, that's how the first one turned out and then I did make another one and uh, this is what it looks like so for this one um, I used this um, sticker this holographic sticker that was gifted to me from Denise because I really wanted to make use of all those um, things that she gifted me and then um, for the shaker bits you see the um, little shrinky dink pieces as well which is so cute and then it's got like little bows in the uh, shaker bits and then I cut out this um, gold foil spoon again and it's been layered a couple times so that it's really sturdy and then I just added some star sprinkle bits there. And then um, for this one, I cut out her bow in a like a pink uh, glitter cardstock. And then um, for this one, I also added the sleeve, which has really beautiful like uh, corrugated details to it. And then on the side there, I just added this little charm that I hauled not too long ago. And I added it with this uh, pink uh, what's it called? Jump ring. <laughs> so those are my Hello Kitty ones. And then um, I also wanted to make a unicorn themed one. And um, so this is how it turned out. And then for this one, um, I use this like felt applique that I recently hauled and it's like glittery, it's so cute. And then uh, for the shaker bits there, these are like some little star charms that I got from your dollar store with more. And then um, I also wanted to give this a cotton candy effect to make it look really magical. So I used the um, fluff that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then um, this detailing that you see up here that I cut out in 
a pink glitter uh, cardstock. That's also from the um, surprise creation like Sunday uh, set. And then I just added the like the unicorn horn as well as ears, it, which I cut out in a um, white glitter cardstock to it to make it look, you know, give it that it's like a unicorn drink. And then I added that little um, charm on the side of a cloud, a pink cloud that I recently hauled. So I think this was so cute. And I made this one quite thick because I wanted the um, stars to move freely in there. So I love how this one turned out. Yeah, and then um, for my last thing, I really wanted to make some like hot chocolate, but these um, coffee cups, you know, um, like I really wanted to use a, actual mug so for this one I took out the um, KLG UIP um, mug set which was like released during Christmas about and then for these ones um, I added these little marshmallow um, uh, clip art that I recently found and I'm gonna put a link to it in the uh, description box below and um, I think they're just so cute so like I had to make a hot chocolate one and um, for this one I also um, hung a little spoon charm here like I punched an eyelet so that I can hang this little uh, charm here and then just um, cut out this joy sentiment so those are my project shares for today and um, I really had fun making these and I was thinking like um, if you ever get stuck right you could if you go with a theme it's gonna be so much easier to like come up with ideas so that's my recommendation. Like if you ever get stuck, just go with a theme and you know, something that you're really passionate about. That way um, ideas are gonna come really um, easily to you. And um, so if anyone has any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I would be happy to answer. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.